Hello artists and welcome to Creativity Time with Julia Major. Today we're going to be discussing one of the trickiest but also most useful and most used terms in art. It's the word medium and it has a lot of different definitions. I'm going to be discussing many different definitions so it's okay if they don't all stick. You can do what my science teacher Miss Gushwa used to call brain surfing and just kind of ride the information, let it take you where it takes you but I am going to point out the definitions that are the ones that we'll be using in creativity time videos the most often. So the first definition for medium is one that you probably already know. It's a size. It's between big and small medium. So I might say, hand me a medium sized canvas. I need the medium sized chair a la Goldilocks. All of those would be examples of medium in that first definition. The second definition for medium is the one that I use the most often. I use this a lot. It means any kind of art material, especially what you make the art out of as opposed to just a tool. So I'll often talk about tools and mediums. What mediums are we going to be using today? I'll say we're going to be using paint, we're going to be using markers, we're going to be using glitter. All of those things would be mediums. And especially people tend to use medium for the second definition for the big art things. So if something was a little part of an artwork, they might leave it out, but they're talking about those kind of bigger materials, although you could use it for the small materials too. So some examples of a medium for that second definition would be paint markers, oil pastels, watercolors. The third definition of medium is something that you work into paint, ink, or another material to change the consistency and texture or sometimes the shine of it. So you have gloss medium, this is actually pouring medium, but there's one called gloss medium, there's pouring medium, there's glass beads, and the two big categories of medium, those kind of mediums, are dry medium and wet medium. So a dry medium is something like glass beads because it's dry, and a wet medium is something that's more liquidy. That tends to come up really only in painting, printmaking. It may occasionally appear in other art forms, but that's the main time you hear it. Then you have the definition of medium, which is a large art category, especially a large kind of way of doing art. So that would be dance, that would be music, that would be film or movies more accurately. It could also be painting, it could be collage. So you can see that it's kind of similar to that other definition I talked about because collage implies what kind of materials you might use, but it's not quite the same thing as stating the materials. So oftentimes people ask artists, what's your favorite medium? If they ask that question, they're either going to be referring to the materials like we talked about before, or they're going to be talking about the large art category but I've never had anyone correct me if I answer one or the other. They're just really looking for information. So if someone asks you, what's your favorite art medium? It's equally fine to answer with it's painting or to answer with acrylic paint. The last thing that's really important to know about mediums is how to make them plural. So medium is a Latin word. So technically the plural should be media. But when people say the media, they're almost always referring to news, news stations like CBS or ABC, or they might be talking about social media such as Facebook or Instagram. So to add clarity, artists nowadays tend to pluralize, meaning making it more than one, the word medium, by calling it mediums instead of just saying media. But you may hear people say media as well. And if there's an artwork that's been made, with more than one material, especially more than one material that's very different, it's called a mixed media artwork. So for instance, if I drew something with just pencil and pen, I probably wouldn't call it mixed media, even though I did use more than one material. But if I made this box and I used acrylic, paper tiles, plastic jewels, I would call this a mixed media artwork. So to review, the definitions of medium are a size in between big and small, something that art is made of, so an art material such as paint or ink or paper, something that you mix into paint, ink, or another art material 
to give it a different consistency to make it thicker or thinner or more textured or more shiny. A broad category of art such as music or collage. And then if people say media, they could either mean news or something on the internet or they could mean the plural of medium but we also often use the term mediums. Thanks for coming to Creativity Time with Julia Major. I hope that you like and subscribe. Have a very colorful day and have a lot of fun with your mediums.